.NET Report Builder is a software that allows developers and end users to create and run reports. In this video, we will be giving a short demonstration of how to use .NET Report Builder to generate useful reports. Clicking on the Live Demo button will take us to the Demo Report Building homepage. From this screen, users can view, edit, and run already created reports as well as create brand new reports. We will start this demo by creating a new report. There are many different types of reports that can be created using .NET Report Builder. Depending on the type of information required, users can choose either a list report, a summary report, a bar graph, a pie chart, or a line history graph. For today's demo, we will create a sales list report and a sales summary report. We will start by creating the list report first. After selecting the list report type in the Choose Report section, the next step is to configure the data for the report. Here, users can select different sections from their database and pick up different fields to populate the report. For a sales report, I will be looking for the following information. The name of the customer who made the order, the name of the employee who completed the sale, when the order was placed, the price, the quantity, and the total sale amount. In this demo database, we will look at the orders and the detailed order sections to find the data that we need. And depending on how your database is set up, different information will be available in different sections. And each section represents a table in the database, and in each table there are different fields. Clicking on the orders section brings up the fields that make up that table. The users can now choose the individual fields that they would like for their report, or they can hit select all to select all of the data in that report, in that database. For our purposes, I will be picking up customer name, employee name, an order date from the orders section and I'll be picking up unit price, quantity, and subtotal from the detailed orders section. The data that was chosen in the chose data for report section are available to be seen in the select data for report section. Here, the user has the ability to reorder the data, to delete any of the data, and add filters for the final report. I will reorder this data to show the date of order first, the customer name second, and the employee name last. There is also a dedicated choose filter section where you can create more filters. Choosing a filter in the Choose Filter section allows for more flexibility when configuring filters at the report building stage. Depending on the field type that is being filtered, different options will appear for filtering. For example, when choosing order date for the filter, you will see different qualifiers as compared to when choosing customer name for the filter. For this demo, we will add one filter for the order date in the selected data for report section, and one filter for the employee name in the choose filter section. As a first pass, I'll use Andrew as our employee. Scrolling down further, once the data has been chosen, ordered correctly, and any necessary filters have been created, we are now ready to name this report, add a description, and create an initial sorting before we save this report and run it. This initial sorting can be changed when the final report is generated.
When saving this report, the users will have to choose which folder that report resides in. I will choose the sales report section for the sales report. After choosing the folder, we can now save this report. Clicking Save Report will generate a notification at the top right telling us that the report has been generated successfully. We can then navigate to the sales report section in our main page to see that this new sales report has been generated. From this page, the user has the ability to either edit this report, delete it, or run the report in its current state. Clicking on the run report will create that report for us. Let's take a few minutes and navigate the options in this report. Along the top, there are options for going back to our main report section, editing this report, printing the report, or exporting this report to an Excel front uh, spreadsheet. The filters we chose when building this report are displayed in the top of the report. And also this report has been uh, sorted based on our original sorting option for customer name. All the customer names are now grouped together. These reports can be resorted uh, at this stage if, if needed. Clicking on the edit report will take the user back to the report configuration page and there users can make any necessary changes and save the report again. So this is a quick view on how to create a list report. We will now hit edit report and create a summary report out of the report that we've generated already. We can do this by quickly clicking edit report and changing the report type from list report to a summary report. Scrolling down to the selected data for report section, we can now see that there are now new drop downs that have appeared next to all of the fields in this report. And this is part of the summary report algorithm that now there are new ways to group all of our data. For example, if you're looking at uh, a field that has a name, you can group these name, do a count, etc. For things that have a count in them, like quantity, you can average them, do a full count, a summary, I mean a sum, and uh, or a min or a max. For our summary report, I will go ahead and delete the customer name field and create the following criteria for our report. I will group the order date by month. For the unit price, I will do an average. I'll do a sum for the quantity and a sum for the subtotal. We can go ahead and remove this filter we can keep this filter. After I've made these changes, we should go ahead and rename this report, as well as choose a new sorting option. Once this is done, we can hit save report, and this new edited report will now be saved. As you can see in the sales report folder we now have this new report called sales report summary. Hitting run report will generate that report for us. As we can see this new report has summarized the sales by grouping the orders into months averaging the unit price and summing up the quantity in the subtotal. We have another filter option up here and if we wanted to use it we could.
To summarize, in this demo we demonstrated how easy it is to create and edit different types of reports. During the demo, we looked at the Report Builder homepage, we saw how the reports are organized in different folders, and spent time creating two different types of reports. For instructions on how to create other types of reports such as line reports, bar graphs, or pie charts, please le refer to other demo videos in our website. To test .NET Report Builder with your own database in your own environment, please refer to the installation instructions that can be found by navigating to the .NET report.com homepage, clicking on product at the top of the page, and then clicking on getting started.